Oh my gosh. Do you know that I've been sitting here talking to my computer or my iPad because that's what I film on for quite a while. In essence, doing this whole video, I didn't press play <laughs> or record or... Yeah. Woo. Newbie to book two. <laughs> But that brings me to why I'm here today. It's June. It's June, people. May is gone. Gone. Yeah. Do you know when May ends, June begins? Yeah, I thought I'd give you that little tidbit, which means it's not happening again for another year. But that's what made me go, whoa, wait a minute, what? It's June? Because this marks my first month on booktube and I have to tell you I didn't feel like it was near long enough um, so what I want to kind of go over today is what happened in May in my first month at booktube so I managed to and this is a challenge for those of us who are technology challenge as I just previously mentioned uh, I managed to upload six videos on booktube one of which was a review of a book that has been basically universally loved that I didn't find quite as enchanting but instead of being met with hostility, anger, or just silent crickets out there and nobody mentioning anything or putting any comments, I really got some great comments. I got some that support, you know, kind of said, you know what, I picked up those things too and then others that really helped me learn about that genre a little bit more or anything that kind of has magic in it and I think that I'm going to be able to take those points or that newfound knowledge into any further fantasy or magical type based books that I read because I haven't read many so um, thought that was fantastic. Uh, that also brings to just I can't get over the great comments that I've been getting uh, and by great comments I, again they don't have to be supportive they just be um, I mean I love humorous but I also love good discussion points and recommendations are always welcome. So having all those comments has been fantastic. Um, let's see. Oh, we did have our first booktube drama. Yeah, I was, saw that. That's the first one that I've seen of that. But you know what? I was really impressed with booktube. It just feels like it, you know, after it kind of beat on each other. <laughs> Everybody just stood up, dusted off. We had some great... Uh, reflection videos and discussion videos and some with some amazing humor and I think there's some discussions that will continue on and I think we're gonna learn from those even more have a disagreement but you find something good and positive to pull out of that so that was good um, oh watch two of my fellow newbie booktubers just skyrocket both of them have over 500 subscribers now, and it isn't so much as subscribers as I've seen the number of comments and the different people commenting on their videos that they now are interacting with, and I think that's fantastic. So who I'm talking about is Adam over at, now wait a minute, saying the name is a little difficult, so I gotta look at it, so let me cheat. Uh, Memento More, beautiful sounding name. A little bit hard for me to get it out of my mouth correctly so hopefully I did say that correct and his name is Adam uh, he reads very interesting books and his discussions and points of view of them he's amazing how quickly he can wrap up succinctly what he feels about a book so uh, great guy fantastic uh, energy and wonderful sense of humor uh, the other one is Peter likes books Peter likes books Peter likes books books okay seriously if all you do is tune in so you can see the 15 bazillion ways yes I said bazillion again 15 bazillion ways that he says the name of his channel if you just watch that I think you'll be hooked um, oh my gosh energy on this guy there would be no energy crunch anywhere in the world if we could just hook up to mr. Peter uh, he loves his books. Um, in fact, I think he misnamed his channel. It should be Peter Loves Books. Um, and he reads a good mix, too, 
and his mix also includes YA as well. So it's been a lot of fun watching him and listening to him and his interpretation of the books. He's done some great book tags as well. But, it, you know, I would be surprised that if you're watching this channel that you have not seen these guys. But I have all the information down below. Amazing, amazing uh, new channels. Very exciting. So congratulations to them. Uh, let's see. Oh! Join my first read-along. Uh, I have joined Katie over at Books and Things to read, here we go, Our Mutual Friend by Mr. Charles Dickens. And we're reading it in the style that it was published. In other words, it was a serialized book. And so you read like the first four chapters in the first month and three chapters in the next month. She does wrap-up videos that are fantastic. Her enthusiasm is amazing. And reading Dickens, you know, for the first time in many, many years, in fact, probably... Christmas Carol back in high school. Uh, probably was the last time I read a Dickens. And taking a book that's quite hefty and breaking up and then being able to discuss it as you go, almost chapter by chapter, fantastic. So she has set up a Goodreads group as well as, of course, she's doing her, her book too. But again, all the information, if you're curious, is down below. Uh, I completed a spring bingo challenge. I've signed up for tons of challenges this year. In this case, these are mini challenges. And again, that was on a Goodreads group. And I liked it because it kind of made me aware that I wasn't reading just one type of book, that I'm reading different types of books. So that was fun. And I am going to be doing a Books on the Nightstands Summertime Bingo. going to try that one. Uh, oh, I read a book that was sent to me um, for review. And I'm not sure what was going on. I think that the group that sent it to me are hired or paid for by the authors to uh, virtually promote their books. And this particular book was supposed to be a historical fiction. It was not a particularly good read at all. I was very disappointed, but more disappointed that I had to write a review. But I had given my word. I'd gotten the book. I'm not going to write a fake review. Um, but it was, was not a, a very nice review. Uh, I feel like the author has gotten only people who really love her and care about her to to critique her book. Uh, and I just don't think it was ready for mass publica publication at all. So, lesson learned, will not be doing that anymore. Uh, absolutely not a good experience. And it took up over a week, it, almost, of my reading time in May. And I don't got time for that. I got books to read. Anyways, then coming down into that, I need to talk about what I have read. So let's see, the very first thing that I did manage to read is, oh, we've got the book whose name I won't say. Um, then we did The Midnight Assassin, ooh, glary, 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 sorry, which I have a review on, really enjoyed the book, great nonfiction, uh, supposed to, the, the theory is it's America's first serial killer, it takes place in Austin, Texas, 1885. Very, very interesting, uh, great picture of that time, particularly in Austin and what was going on there. So, enjoy that. And then the other book that I finished is The BFG. Yes, oh my gosh. This book was hilarious. I really don't know who it's aimed at, though, because there's so many little things in here that I'm not sure that a child of six, seven, or eight should be having read to them. It is, you know, a pretty hefty book, so maybe it is for older children. Um, I'm probably going to do a really brief little review of this one, because it was really neat. A lot of neat things in it, but uh, Rodal, wow. Great book. And that leads me to my two books that I have begun and will continue. So as I said before, Our Mutual Friend. And the other one is my Anna Karina read that I'm doing by myself. Uh, Anna Karina, the way I'm doing this is about 40 pages a week is what I'm vying for. Um, really enjoying the book, but it's interesting, and I'm sure I, once I get it done, and as a friend of mine on here commented in, what, 2021, when I finally finished this book, it's a good read, and it's easy, um, fascinating so far. But I'm only on page 180 of 838, but progressing. That's all that matters. Just keep reading. Just keep reading. That's what we do. We read. The final thing is I was tagged in my first ever booktube book tag or tag, however we want to say that. And it is the newbie tag. And so I will be filming that at some point and putting that up for you as well. So a very busy first month. But my gosh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving it. 
and it has so much to do with you that are watching and commenting. Be a part of the discussion! So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.